Rao, what's good, what's good? This your boy, Double R, Richie Righteous, straight out of Queens, New York. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Everybody not rap like it's a gimmick. Whole lot of noise, ain't saying nothing in it. Maybe it's me, hey man, you watching T on the move, this your boy, Double R, you know what it is, man. Ra! Ra, 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 Everybody, this is my good friend, Richie Righteous. Yeah, yeah. I just came from his concert, uh -huh. and oh my goodness, Richie was on fire. He mm -hmm. had everybody in the house on their feet, standing up, praising God. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know about Richie Righteous, you guys need to check him out. He's on YouTube as well. Right. Follow him at Richie Righteous. Correct. Mm -hmm. He has a song called Please Him. Uh -huh. I mean, he has a song called Proverbs 31 Girl. Uh -huh. He has so many beautiful songs. Mm -hmm. Richie Righteous, I'm gonna leave his name below so you guys can follow him on all the social medias. I just got this hoodie right here. I'm gonna be mm -hmm. wearing it on one of my channel. There you go. And we're just gonna be talking about Christian music. Yeah, yeah. Because honestly, like, before I got saved, like, mm -hmm. I thought gospel music right. was boring. Right. You know, I thought it was right. gonna be like Andre Crouch, mm -hmm. and I just thought it was just gonna be like a whole bunch Old of, school. you know, oh, when the same. Right. Go right. Right. I thought that's what Christian music was about. Right. right. But right. then I was so wrong because then right. I found out about you, Richie Righteous, right. 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 and then right. I know about Tasha Cos. Everybody mm -hmm. know Tasha Cos is my mm -hmm. favorite like, gospel artist. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about, um, Gospel music. Yeah, well, Let's talk well, about what you do. Richie. Well, well, uh, for those you know watching this channel, obviously I'm, I'm jumping on her channel. But um, Richie Righteous is the name, and I'm, I'm a Christian rapper. I'm also a pastor here in Queens, New York. But before I came, became a pastor, been doing Christian music touring for years, T. Yeah. And so, um, like my sister said, there's a lot of people when they come to Christ, they only know the old stuff, and they think, man. Ain't not, like when you come to Christ, it's so boring. Now don't get me wrong, those old songs, the content is good. The, the, the words are good. But we live in 2017. Cats want to turn up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cats want to a little bounce, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And so, um, yeah, I've been, I've been doing Christian music for a while, Christian hip hop, and so um, people begin to discover there's a plethora of the music. To be honest with you, Lecrae, who's one of the forerunners in Christian music, has done so much i mean you know there's, there's anyway he's done so much for the christian hip-hop genre that you know at one point he had number one records on regular billboards to the point where he's you know on regular stations and all that so there's no limit to this music because because it is hip-hop we can speak directly to issues we can speak to racism we can speak to poverty we can speak to social injury we can speak to a lot of issues and put the biblical perspective in there and turn up man at the end of the day so i think my sister's discovering in us and she's excited about it and it's good because young people need to turn up no definitely definitely yo we were turning up in there it was so let me ask you what was it like in there i mean like you know what, what was your highlight tonight you know what i mean like Rich oh, what up what up what up man <laughs> It's like the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah, oh yeah. my good, yo. Now, now let me let me say this. You know, some people will watch out there and be like, man, this young girl had me going until she said the Jay-Z But you don't understand what that means. Let me break that down. But that might not be the content you are into. The point is this. If you've ever seen them on TV, Beyonce or Jay-Z, the show level is phenomenal from the lighting to the screens to everything. And so that's what we we don't strive to be like them, but in the world of technology, we want to use all this technology. So that's what we kind of did tonight. 
night yeah, with no, screens definitely. and videos in the back and all this stuff to kind of engage the audience. So when a young person is saying that, that's telling you, yo, something, something is clicking with me and I'm, yeah. I'm getting the message in my language. Because language is important to you. No, definitely, definitely. Now, you are from Jamaica, right? Yes. You ever bust out your accent anywhere and people like, they don't have a clue what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, we can't do it right now. Uh -oh. You two, walk on, walk on, you two. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Why, whenever you say any Jamaicans <laughs> in the house, the first thing they do. No, 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 no
in the right place Not rich in the cars, rich in the house, rich in the money, but the rich in faith So I surrender all, I gave him my mic I say what he want me to say on the beat, not what I think the people would like America, one day, you might throw me in a jail cell But I'll take the cell, for me to bring truth and pull you out of